welcome to CES 2017 convention here at the Las Vegas Convention Center. So I am here for the next four days and I will take you guys through all the booths. Well, I'll try my best to take you guys to all the booths, all the main booths, um, and show you what cool technology and gadgets are on display here at the convention. The show is brought to you by Reliance Digital. Now, I have traveled 30 hours and I'm jet lagged, but I am absolutely energized and ready to take on the next four days. Let's do this. So what are the numbers, John? Like how, from last year, exhibitors? So the number of exhibitors, we have over 3,800 okay. exhibitors this year, which is, and we're over 2.6 million net square feet of space, which is about 240,000 net square meters. So that's a the biggest course. tech show in the world. Canon just uh, released or launched uh, one of their G series cameras just about three days ago. It's called the PowerShot G9 X Mark II. Super cool camera, very retro style. 20 megapixel, three times optical zoom, full HD, and it's got a built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Super light, and you can carry it in your handbag. Easily fits in my hands. What else do you need? I am at the Nikon booth right now um, and something very interesting is in my hand. I'm like a kid in a candy store because I love cameras. So this is the D5600. It's super light, super nice. Um, so how is it different from the D5500? It's got a better processor, better screen, better battery and now it has Bluetooth. Wow, I am sitting in between the, the three most techiest guys I know. Stores now, when you come to the show, you see Under Armour, you see Nike, you see. So it's a tech show, but you know, they, all these people are wearables now. So when we see it on the stores, we can start wearing them. I'm just getting Under Armour there. Uh, so I think the brands, uh, I think the wearable, you're the first ones to really take a stand that this is going to be big. So if you really now walk some of our stores, you have a separate section for wearables, and we'll keep on building this. But really, what this whole between an apparel brand, an electronics brand, and a wearable brand, and, and the way our life is, that line is really getting blurred. Right? So it's more of an end use rather than keeping an Under Armour or a Nike or a, or a particular GoPro device. It's it's all about living your life. It's all about personalizing technology. It's all about how you use. So how do you really bring those ecosystems here? So today I'm going hiking, I'm going swimming, I'm going shopping. I, I, for me to capture that experience, what all do I require? Is, 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 is all the use cases you have been spectacular. flagship from Vivo. Super sexy phone with curved edges, um, about 16 megapixel front camera. It's got about 5.5 uh, inches with 2K display. Four, no, six. Six GB of RAM and 120 GB of internal storage. Um, super sexy and it will be soon available in Reliance Digital Stores in India. So the Vivo X Play 6 has a competitor. It's called Xiaomi Mi Note 2. That took me a few goes to get it right. Um, how is it different? It's just a little bigger. 5.7 inches uh, screen. That's all. Similar battery, similar camera, similar processor, but just a little bit bigger. But again, super sexy phone. Alright, Ramesh, have you attended any uh, conferences or the keynotes or the sessions that have been going around? I mean, that have been. Happen. Yeah, uh, in fact, uh, uh, a lot of I mean, a lot of people don't know that you know CES is a hotbed of conferences. There's so much, so many interesting conferences and sessions happen, which like you can't get to see them. Like I just came out of uh, you know Kevin, who was the who was the founder of uh, Under Armour, who gave such an inspiring talk, and we had Arena Huffington, Michael Phelps join him on the dais, and it's so awe-inspiring to hear these guys speak, the leaders, you know what what the company is going, how what the future is like, etc., etc. Then of course there's Carl Goshen from Nissan, and there's so many. I mean. I mean, you just you just can keep attending all the conferences and there's a lot of these sessions you know there's a lot of sessions where 
this YouTube marketing or digital marketing or what where technology is going. There's, there's something for everybody. You know, there's a C space at, at the science booth, which is for the marketing and advertising people. But a lot of people miss that actually. People should actually go out and search, go to the CSI, attend this conference because this is something that you will not get to see anywhere else. Not in India for sure. You know, because these guys will not come and hear them speak is itself a big thing. Yeah. 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 So of course, absolutely. I've attended. I wish I could attend more, but you know. Yeah, you, yeah. you can't no, do much. <laughs> there's, there's lots, lots, and lots to do. So now this piece of clothing actually has sensors in them. So now what this does is it detects your body temperature. If your body temperature is dropping, then it kind of warms you up. So now I found this uh, really interesting um, startup company. It's called Wise and Ope, and they have technology in their shoes. So what, how you use this is you connect it to an app. They have an app and you can actually put uh, your GPS location and while you're running, uh, your shoe vibrates on the sole so it tells you which direction to go. So if it's vibrating left, you take a left. If it's vibrating right, it takes the right. Yeah, exactly. So I am inside Samsung right now and Samsung has come up with a new QLED technology in television and in simple words what it exactly is is that the colors don't wash out the image is crisp and bright so that's about it but it looks super cool and there's so many dis so many displays in here and I'm yeah super cool <laughs> okay so I found another interesting product here at the LG booth it is a 0.2 inch TV now it's Super super slim. I actually went around and I saw it's super slim. So I have Greg here who's going to tell us some main features about the television. LG has been producing the organic light emitting diode technology. This is our signature series W, which stands for wallpaper or wall television. And through the magic of OLED, we yeah. can make that panel only 0.2 inches under you know four millimeters thick when we hang it on the wall. Today we have with us Gary Shapiro, who is the president and CEO of the Consumer Technology Association, which represents 2,400 tech companies and also produces CES. Now we also have Ramesh Samani, who is the founder and CEO of Exhibit Group. Absolutely. The CES is where the world gathers mm -hmm. if you're in a business of innovation. So we have uh, almost 4,000 technology companies showing different things and putting their best face onto the world of innovation. For me, I've been coming here for seven years now. And it's so, the fabric of CS has changed so much, you know, because I've seen auto companies taking stage. Now we have cruise companies, we have a clothing company like Under Armour and Carnival. I mean, this, this basic, basically means the whole, every company is a technology company. So for that, which means that CS is like going to become much bigger because we'll have, so where do you think, like what are your thoughts about that, like, you know, we have so much going on now. I think you said it well, every company is a technology company and that's why we get CEOs from around the world to come because they want to see the future because if they stay in place, yeah. others are going to pass them by and sure. the companies that succeed in the future are those that could cut across vertical lines of their industry, they can cut deals, they could go forward on, on the basis of different brands. There's also a huge focus on startups here. We have 600 yeah. startups in the Eureka Park. <laughs> and they're also, the change that big companies have is they're looking at startups seriously now as potential partners, investors, mentors, 
Uh, and and that these this whole deal making that goes on in CS is absolutely. I saw huge. a lot of she was in VC is walking around the air by myself. It oh, was, she's yeah. number the investment community is here it's in the course. Deals big. are being cut all the time. Okay, so that is the end of CS 2017, day four. Um I am done. I've got blisters on my feet. I have not seen Las Vegas. I have not partied. I have not done what people do in this city. I have been busy with the show, but it was the best show and I will definitely be back next year. Um, show is brought to you by Reliance Digital and Exhibit. We have Ramesh Samani, the founder and CEO of Exhibit. Now Ramesh, signing off thoughts. What did you think of the show? I think it was great. It was for the, for the, for you it was first time, but I've been coming here. So, uh, a lot of cool stuff to do. You, you, you can't, I'm sure you walked sincerely like for four days, but you cover the whole show, you can't. No, it's no. It's just impossible. You need to have roller blades on your thing. to. Maybe actually that's a cool technology to idea to take up. And we, he actually, that's not his idea. He actually stole it from the yeah, show. Yeah, yeah, so. yes. <laughs> All right, great. Well, but signing the, off. Yeah, but the whole idea was that, you know, this whole show, the whole idea is I can meet a lot of people who can't yeah. travel. And even if you travel, they can't see the whole show because they're big convention here. That's why we're here to, uh, to bring so it to you guys. Try to handpick everything. Nashpreet is very sincere. She didn't party anything. Now go and party. <laughs> See you guys. <laughs> next year, if you I want to leave any comments below, please tell us so that she can do a good job next year. <laughs> I did a great job this year. <laughs>